As many as 50 million uninsured Americans could get coverage under the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. But tonight, some mid-sized companies say the cost of the country's new law is overwhelming them. Melissa Hankins is live and on your side with one employer's concerns. Melissa. Molly, a lot of companies have a hard call to make. Should they attempt to provide health care to their employees amid rising costs passed on from health insurance companies? Or should they drop coverage, send their employees to the government's exchange, and pay a fine to subsidize the cost? The owner of one business told me today it's like deciding between a rock and a hard place. Right now, he says he can't find a plan that won't raise prices for his company, his employees, and maybe even his customers. Uh, Doug Mayer Kuno created spice company Carolina Ingredients from the ground up 23 years ago. And still, he says adapting to Obamacare is the hardest thing he's ever done. This is the biggest decision I've made. He employs 40 in Rock Hill, and he's struggling to figure out a way to keep their health costs under control. Any decision we make impacts the employee one way or the other, and we want to make sure we take care of our employees. But doing that, Mayor Kuno claims, is getting much harder thanks to the country's new health care laws. President Obama stood up multiple, multiple times and said, you know, there's no increase to employees that currently have insurance. There won't be increases to companies that already give insurance. The fact is, is it's the opposite. We are expecting 30 percent increases this year. Uh, in, in 2014, we think that we'll see another increase as much as 20% in 2015. And it's going to have a dramatic impact on the way we manage the company. He's struggling with a decision. Should he attempt to continue to provide health care to his employees amid rising costs, or should he drop his coverage, send his employees to the government's exchange, and pay to subsidize the cost? That route involves an increase in taxes. What makes things very difficult, you know, I don't know what we're going to do yet. And all the costs could even hit his customers. We either lose margin, uh, which means profit. Profit, or we pass it on to the uh, customer base, uh, and that's all obviously very difficult to do, and especially under economic times like this. Now, one thing I've heard over and over again from both self-employed individuals and company execs who have recently talked with their insurance companies, shock over how much premiums are going up. Insurance companies say they're having to pass along added costs like accepting pre-existing conditions. Molly, back to you. Well, problems are persisting with sign up online as well, Melissa, on the government website, healthcare.gov. The administration says it's because so many people are trying to use the site at once.